Well, this right here, well, this is the Sega Master System. I have a lot of love for the Sega Master System. I actually played one of these before I played an NES. Big colors, bright colors, great sound, but it didn't quite have the marketing power that the NES had. So a lot of people in America grew up playing the NES instead of the Sega Master System. However, a lot of reasons to have one of these with the cartridge slot here. There's a card slot here. This card slot also doubles as an expansion port for some things like the 3D glasses. A lot of reasons to have a Sega Master System. And if you're unfamiliar, if you're a Nintendo fanboy like I am too, here are some great games for the Sega Master System that you should check out. Yeah, I know, mine has a crack right here, but hey, it still works. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. The first game I wanna talk about is you subscribing to this channel right now. Now, if you're new to the Sega Master System, the first game you probably wanna check out is Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Now, if there was ever a mascot for the Master System, it would probably be Alex Kidd. It's your closest to Mario type game. However, this game has a lot more going for it than Super Mario Brothers. Yes, you can both run and jump. Yeah, you can both break bricks. However, this game features upgrades. Like you can actually purchase things along the way. Just love the vibrant colors that this game brings you. The fun character designs. This game has a lot going on for it. Like I said, Alex Kidd in Miracle World. If you're gonna start with any game, I'd start with this one straight out of the gate. Now, if you're a fan of the Legend of Zelda series, you might wanna check out Golvius. I've never actually said that word out loud, so I guess it's pronounced Golvius. Now, this game features a couple of things. There's a side-scrolling action here. Again, fun enemies, cool colors. You know, this game, the way that it's level designed and everything like that, actually kind of feels like an NES game, so I think you'll be at home with this one. Even features big old colorful bosses at the end of some of these stages. But it also features that Zelda style overhead map idea. So very, very cool. If you're a Legend of Zelda fan, you might want to check out Golvius. But if you're talking about Legend of Zelda, why would I even mention Golvius when I should be talking about Golden Axe Warrior? You remember Golden Axe? Well, this is Golden Axe Warrior. Nothing like the original Golden Axe. This game is straight up Legend of Zelda. You got your health, you got your magic. You got your sword, you got your towns, you got your talking to people. You got your screen to screen with enemies appearing as you get into that screen. This is the closest you'll get to Legend of Zelda on the Sega Master System. It's Golden Axe Warrior. Good luck finding it, but if you're playing it by other means, all power to you. And not very Legend of Zelda E, but I want to talk about Aztec Adventures as well. Because it looks like it could be with that overworld style. I almost consider this one a little bit more like Magicka Scheherazade. I know Magicka Scheherazade is one of those hidden gem games, you know, but one of the fun ideas that this game featured that I've never seen before is you can actually have the enemies become your friend. You can throw money at them and they'll fight alongside you. You gotta love that idea. Aztec Adventure is definitely worth checking out. Oh, you like Castlevania, you say? Well, then you gotta check out Master of Darkness. This game did not come out in America. This is a UK game. However, this game is about as Castlevania as you'll get on the Sega Master System, as you can see. These creepy floating heads, those are kind of like your candles. There's gonna be like power-ups and items inside those. I mean, it's hard to look at this game and have it think that it was never inspired by Castlevania. I'm sure it totally was, and there's nothing wrong with that. This is actually a really great game. Master of Darkness, check it out for your Sega Master System, please. In the Konami mode, thinking about Jackal, I was thinking about Line of Fire. Now this game isn't actually very much like Jackal at all. However, you do play as this kind of armored vehicle shooting enemies. It's an auto-scroller, so it's no different than any vertical shoot 'em up But the fact that you're playing as a Jeep instead of playing as a airship or plane or something like that, I thought it had that unique idea. So I'm a big fan of this game and you might want to check it out too, Line of Fire. You ever play that game Cabal for the NES? It was in the arcade as well. Well, Double Hawk is a lot like that. At first glance, you might think it might be a Contra type game because of these characters. But no, it, it plays like this. You just shoot the people, that's your target. You gotta avoid them as well. Got more enemies coming out, more things happening. And when you finally get to where you need to go, you'll move on to the next stage. Great two player game if you're looking for a fun two player cooperative game. Double Hawk for your Sega Master System. King's Quest even came out for the Sega Master System. Now, I'm not a PC gamer, so the only King's Quest game I played was King's Quest V for the NES, but this gives you a chance to play the first one. Instead of like, it, this is supposed to be a point and click style, it's a little harder to do on a console, so you can just walk around, but then it gives you the option screen of what you wanna do with where you are. And that's kind of the understatement of the year. <laughs> Uh-oh, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Well, whatever I did, it didn't do it right. Moving on. Action Fighter, this is gonna be your Spy Hunter type game. Only instead of a car, you are a motorcycle. And you're trying to shoot out enemies, and again, instead of having lives, you just kinda have a timer. I like that, because I am terrible at this game. But this game is so Spy Hunter that it even features the truck that you can go behind and get your power up items. <laughs> Which lasted about two seconds for me. Good lord, I didn't get a chance to use it. Alright, I'm gonna practice this game some more, but you check out Action Fighter when you get a chance. 
One of the parts of the game Rescue the Embassy mission is you play the role of a gunman. And Dead Angle is just like that part. Now there's an arcade game called Empire City 1931. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, this, this game is that, basically. You can see the silhouette of who you are, and you just gotta shoot them before they shoot you. Easy enough. Kind of side-scrolling and vertical scrolling too, so make sure you get those guys up in the windows. Fun shooter here in the name of Dead Angle. Check it out. This game's actually pretty uh, inexpensive to find too. Dynamite Ducks is your kind of beat-em-up style, but kind of not. Super cartoony. I don't know what the colonel's doing there either. I'm not going to question it. Maybe just move along. You beat up the people. You can pick up little items along the way too to help you out. Love the artwork. Love the cartooniness. I wish we would see more Dynamite Ducks. We should have a Dynamite Ducks... Uh, you know, we should have had one for the Sega Genesis, even the Sega Saturn. But I think the only one we ever got, it's with the exception of maybe Game Gear, if there was one for that, is this one for the Sega Master System. And I loved it. And I love it when bosses are like this too, like kind of cartoony style. Very fun to have a game like this. I guess you could kind of compare it to Turtles 2, the arcade game. I don't know. It just, it's, just, it's a fun game. Definitely check it out. If you're a fan of Kung Fu for the NES, you'll love Black Belt. It's uh, pretty much the same kind of idea. And if you're wondering why the characters are disintegrating after you punch them or kick them, this game came out in Japan as one of those Fist of the North Star games. Yeah, so, you know, little graphic hack turns it into a kung fu game, but still a fun game. It's called Black Belt, which might feature the worst label art of any Sega Master System game of all time. It's a foot. <laughs> Love it. Hold on, check this out, check this out. Oh man, one of the coolest uh, cinematics I ever saw in a video game up to this point. This game is called Zillion for the Sega Master System. Uh, keep in mind of what these codes are, you will need them later on uh, when you're playing this game. I'm having kind of a hard time figuring out what NES game this could kind of be like. It's kind of like a 2D side-scrolling Metal Gear, if anything, kind of, but not really. So you go through and you shoot the enemies, right? I mean, so that part's not Metal Gear at all. Uh, but what happens is when you get to where you need to go, there's these little um, code things that you can type in. And remember those keys at the beginning of the uh, game here it'll, you know, make it so certain things can be unlocked later on in the levels. I just think this is one of the coolest ideas of a game where you'd like actually go through and actually use security codes to, you know, unlock the security or do something else or whatever. Uh, man, I just thought it was such a fun idea. And uh, this game certainly keeps you playing longer because you want to see what's coming up next. If you get a Sega Master System, you definitely want to check out Zillion. There's also a Zillion 2, but I think I, think I like the first one better. Now this game is one of my favorite arcade games of all time. Came out for the Sega Master System called Quartet. Unfortunately, you can only play two player, which I don't know why it's just not called Duet, but in the arcade it was Quartet, I digress. So this is your platform shooter. However, this the colors in this game, the music in this game, everything about this game makes me love this game. And the fact that you had a jetpack as an option was one of the coolest ideas to me at the time. I was like, oh my God, I could just fly around, don't have to jump or anything. Well, you don't get the jetpack in every level, but it certainly comes in handy when you do. You make your way through the stage, you find the exit, but you have to find the boss that has the key. Defeat the boss, get the key, you can move on. And some stages even feature the exit near the beginning of the level, but you still have to look for the boss to find the key and all that, so. You want to check out uh, Quartet, another one of my must-own games for the Sega Master System. You gotta have Quartet, buddy. Let me talk about Danon the Jungle Fighter. This one kind of reminds me of Rambo for the NES. And although Rambo for the NES was kind of simplistic for its time, I thought it was a great game. As you can tell by looking, I mean, action platform style, you can use the items to defeat the enemies and uh, explore. You can move on or you can go down the ladder and see where else you need to go. Maybe something is locked and you gotta come back to it later. I love that open world exploration style and uh, this game, Danon, is uh, gonna give you that. So if you like Rambo for the NES, you'll like this one. No doubt you've heard of OutRun. Well, this is Battle OutRun. Think kind of like Chase HQ and a little bit like Knight Rider for the NES. Uh, what you do is you go to, I mean, it's a driving game. It's like OutRun, kind of. You could even go on the back of these trucks to uh, upgrade your car if you can. And as you keep driving, eventually you're going to find basically the enemy of the level. <laughs> you have to try to run him off the road or bash into him until he can't drive anymore. That's just what Battle OutRun is all about. And I failed this level. That's all right, moving on. We got Cyborg Hunter. Cyborg Hunter is interesting enough. Anyone else think she was kind of cute? Yeah, all right. Now there's gonna be a bunch of games like this. We're just running back and forth and you take the elevators up and down and you defeat the enemies that come about. But I love that little sensor up in the corner that lets you know that there's an enemy coming up. And when that enemy's there, then you can defeat him and move on or you can keep walking past him if you want. But I like the fact that that sensor was gonna let you know that there's an enemy on the way and to be prepared for it. You gotta love that. 
This is called Cyborg Hunter. You can check it out for yourself. And what else did I leave off the list? Let me know in the comments. So many great games that are out there. I want to hear from you. And I'm going to do more of these videos too on like, well, if you like this system, maybe you should check out these other games for this other system. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you soon.